Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, second semi-final of the Blood Bowl Super League. Um, this is uh, unfortunately just a replay because uh, we had technical difficulties during the live cast. Um, it is Kanor versus myself. Um, I won the toss and kick to him. Um, four guard, a block runner and a mighty blow long beard. Um, Kanor is, is a pretty great matchup for me actually in terms of um, skills. Like it's 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 a bit dodgy in teams, but in terms of skills, it's nice because he's got a tackle that he can't he does nothing on his storm vermin, and a dirty player that he's unlikely to be able to use. So he's almost only got four skills, which is uh, a wrestle line or a uh, block ogre, a guard storm vermin, a wrestle gutter, and a block gutter. So he's got, like, he's got five, but still. Um, <laughs> You know, it's not as good as it could have been um, against me specifically. I use the apple here instantly because uh, it only go down players, and he's not that likely to get a Kaz, even if he hits with a rover every single turn. Um, he's not that likely to get a Kaz at any point in the game. I've got a reserve for if he does get a Kaz, um, so you know the chance of him casting out one of the positionals is low. So I'm going to try and stop his roger hitting the positionals if I can. Uh, here, of course, I get the chance to hit the. Roger with getting these guards in. Just gonna base, herb dirt base, 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 right? Um, it, it's kind of, it's it's a weird matchup, rats against dwarves, because like it's kind of, by default, it's kind of in the dwarves favor, right? Because they're gonna, they're gonna punch more, and they're gonna make more removals on average, but the gut is on movement nine, and the, the whole team's movement seven, right? So the whole team can run rings around you, but the, the gut is especially can just absolutely run rings around you, so you've gotta be wary of that. Um, and also, like, they can fight back as well, right? You don't want to just give up millions of hits because you're the bash team. Um, so it's interesting. This guy should have probably been here, right? So that he wouldn't have been able to get that hit. So he clears this so this isn't a frenzy trap because that was a good, good move by him. Knorr uh, did top his group. He was unbeaten. Incredible record. The only unbeaten coach in the whole of BBSL. So yeah, if, if the guard had been here, then he wouldn't have been able to get a 2D there. Interesting. That was a nice one for the Roger, didn't I? I didn't even notice that. Either at the time or on the replay. <laughs> he puts in the reroll on this GFI. I don't think that was a great move. And certainly, uh, I don't think it was worth the reroll because, you know, he's, he, I have got tackle and he's going to have to dodge from tackle uh, sometimes. So, I think this is where the blitz is coming. Certainly an argument for uh, moving the runner down here and uh, trying to stick this guy on the sideline, but I think Mighty Blow Blitz and uh, base the gutter is nice, isn't it? So pushing forward a bit here, getting hits. Nice couple of removals there. And that was a big Kaz as well. Kaz on turn two. So yeah, that was quite the turn, wasn't it? Three removals on turn two. Uh, this really puts him under the cosh now. So now, uh, already, for light, and obviously with using my apple as well, now it's like, uh, can I get the stop here? So that's why this guy comes over here, because this is his kind of easiest route down. To get a score, scoring threat into play. And he does it like I could have gone there. I could have gone there. Maybe I should have. Rolls a one. Doesn't re roll it. Um, <laughs> so obviously, this is a GFI to hit, but it is mighty blow on, on his gutter. Um, I also could have put this guy here, right? And then I could have again pushed him in the sideline. I didn't care too much about pushing him towards the sideline. Um, 
particularly. Because ultimately I'm men up, I've just got to control the field, haven't I? I don't really need to care about, about anything like uh, that. Unfortunately I had guard, I moved this guy in to hit the roger on two dice and then realised that this guy had guard so I couldn't. Put the tackle on him and also threaten the ball a little bit. I could have maybe uh, made this 3D and also could have maybe... Uh, maybe I could have re-rolled this, right? It's early to re-roll, but that is really horrible both down. Um, it was Mighty Blow. I could have just moved this guy first and moved that guy back and probably maybe should have made that three dice. And then also maybe could have re-rolled it because... You can't really run away. I guess I still get in with the run of the next turn, but it's not. It's not. Tacky, is it? Another wild animal fail from the roger. Love to see it. Cheeky one D pal. But again, he's got no other options, has he? He's, he's down players, and he's moved the ball out of range. There was a three plus dodge through tackle. Now there's a chain on here, isn't there? The problem is, I've got to knock down the uh, ogre to get somebody through on a GFI. And because I punched that way, I could have punched with the uh, this guy, but because I punched with this guy by mistake, um, now I've got a double GFI here. I wanted to base him, it wasn't that important. Because I was doing these one at a time, I was gonna, I was gonna stop if I'd used the re if I'd used the uh, dodge. So maybe I shouldn't have uh, based him, and I could have always blitzed him at the end if this had gone wrong somehow. So we've got two D on the ball. Love to see it. Fail the first GFI. And fail the second. <laughs> that was pretty unlucky. Because that was going to be 2D with tackle. And uh, an armor break. And the game is won, basically. But um, wasn't to be. And now, all of a sudden, he's got a blitz and a nice run through to pass it up. Or... Well, it doesn't get the doesn't get the push, even. He's not going for the pass. So I've really got to be wary of this fella, haven't I? That is a bold assist, especially from that direction. If he'd assisted from here, he could have pushed there and then not not been uh, exposed, whereas now I can hit him with Mighty Blow. I am letting him hit the air guards, unfortunately, with a roger. Uh, well, I say unfortunately, poorly. Yeah, again, I could have like gone for the double pushes or whatever and stuck him near the sideline, but I thought it doesn't matter too much. Um, probably a mistake here, just moving this guy straight forward. Probably should have got him into the. I don't know. I wanted to. I wanted to hold this side, which he doesn't really do either. He's not. He's kind of in no man's land here. Okay, now with him, that that tightens up this way, but there is a hole in the middle. Um, Unfortunately, but yeah, 2D with him. And then only a push. So, while Kanora has failed some uh, dodges with his gutters, uh, I haven't had much luck hitting his hitting his gutter with Mighty Blow. <laughs> Doesn't get the knockdown there. Gutter just runs to the side. So this is just a 2 plus through this way, isn't it? Nobody's going to go this way. Fails the pass. And then makes it. Look a dog! <laughs> um, and it wasn't that lucky, obviously, but maybe I should have re-rolled the hit on him. I don't know, he was, mighty, he was with Mighty Blow. It's his only way he's got a scoring right. Dodges this, dodges away there. This is a nice move here by Kano. He, he saw that there was a potential chain on here and he dodged away to stop it. But he didn't successfully get in the way. 
And uh, so yeah, here's the board. And this is probably my best play of the uh, of the of the match here. <laughs> Cheeky double GFI that started and the 1D pow. Only needed a push to be fair on, on the 1D. It's a KO. <laughs> Obviously this is looking pretty terrible at the moment. And this guy comes in. This guy comes in. This guy comes in. The runner can GFI here. And we get the push to get the uh, Blitzer in range. Glorious. Shame it wasn't a power though. Huge non-power actually. So here we go. He's got Wrestle, so there's a decent chance of getting it off him. And get the POW. Now obviously if you wrestle him, he still just picks up and scores. But get the POW. Um, and a pretty great scatter. The problem is this guy not being down, right? If this guy had been down, then the, the Dwarf gets here and it's safe. Um, very disappointing. Maybe I shouldn't have blocked. Maybe I should just try to dodge him at the end. So I went for the pick up there. Use my reroll, and then didn't move any further. And I, I, I really don't know where the best spot is here, right? Because obviously, in cancel, you can get an assist here, and you can cancel this. But then it takes three players to hit him. Um, if I'd gone here, then it only takes two players to get two dice in him, and he's got more players left to react. So I'd think one across was worse. If I double G fighter here then it's kind of he can he can then punch it out there maybe like it's tricky there's lots of there's there's lots of bad things that can happen so i thought at least this way like it is bad obviously if he punches me over here but at least like if he pushes me to there then there's chance of tackle zones around there and being in here if he pushes me to here I don't know, like I really don't know. At least he's stopping this being a 2 plus dodge by standing where he is. It was a really hard choice to where to stand there, especially after using the reroll. I think I would have made the I think I would have gone here with two GFIs if I had still had the reroll. But again, like it's kind of easy for him to get two D and then he pushes him to there or whatever or, or pushes him around. Like, there's lots of things he could have done. But he uses his last reroll to get the knockdown. He's got to make these dodges without dodge. And he does make three two pluses without a reroll. And another one. <laughs> and uh, then fails that two plus. Out with a reroll. So I wonder here if, if this dodge might have been better, right? I've just seen that this guy could have gone one, two, three, four, double GFI. Um, and then he would have been able to recover. That might have been a better play. Um, in the end, I went for the easier dodge. Also, this is only one GFI to hit, isn't it? So this is easier to get the hit on. And more likely have the reroll when you hit. More likely you have to be basing and just have something happening. So it's 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 not obvious which is the better one, but I didn't even see that this guy could hit. I didn't even think about this guy hitting, but he was in range to double GFI hit. Um, but I just saw block this guy dodge, double GFI hit. Well, one single GFI, hit. maybe single, maybe a second GFI to recover as well, right? Cut my score and threat. <laughs> Roll a two on the dodge. And then a five, so that, that really makes me think I should have done. Look, I would have got the pow. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe that was better to uh, double GFI with him. And then this guy then double GFI to put a tackle zone, so at least it's two plus without a reroll. But um, And then he scores it, so you know, that was... In retrospect... I don't know which was better, but I suspect it was the uh, four plus dodge that I didn't even consider. Again, it's a minute, it's minute turns, right? So that that affects things too. You've got to go with your gut a little bit. 
but yeah, that was a <laughs> typical turn eight store, wasn't it? Really, like all, all the attrition happened in the first couple of turns as well, and then nothing more after that, uh, which was disappointing because you know you could have reasonably expected a, a bit of a snowball effect in that half after getting so many men up, three men up on turn two. And unfortunately, just had pillow fists after that. Um, so yeah, Kano does the tight setup on the LOS here. So I'm thinking one turn touchdown <laughs> with dwarves without a reroll. <laughs> but the thing is, if you mess it up, at least you get to hit things anyway. So it's all right, isn't it? I mean, it's it's very very low chances of the turn. But I, I did set up for it. Obviously, the blockless uh, runner going for it, so that if he if he failed the dodges or GFIs, he would, it, him dying would be less bad. So that was a nice that was a nice quick snap that that shuffles everything forward. There's a chance. Pow here doesn't matter, Kale doesn't really matter. Because I'm pretty sure I've got enough players to uh, to do it. Anyway. He comes in here. And push him forward, push him forward again. Chain him forward into the two and he would have been in range. Um, so yeah, so that, that's the first one. And now we just get a push to here. And it's a bolt down. But yeah, that, he would have been there, wouldn't he? And then the uh, Frenzy would have hit the last two. So it would have been possible, I'm pretty sure, if I had it. I don't know if I had enough players. But <laughs> I think it was possible. But roll the bolt down, who cares? Great kills for him there. Three out of four. So. Does he still have 11? No, he's down to 10. Still got 11 dwarves. Got the uh, runner on the field. My drive here because I want the extra movement against Skaven. Seems quite reasonable. And uh, yeah, so now it's just like, you know, obviously can't go for the win in normal time after conceding that. Um, just have to try and go for the eight turn, eight turn grind. Make it 1 1 in normal time. And hope to have killed enough rats to make the overtime um, winnable. I mean, it was disappointing to lose that goal late. I was trying to protect against a blitz here, run out of time before I could fix this, but it didn't matter that much. It's a perfect defence, but at least with these guys on the line that you can't stop the LOS hits. This is a horrible kick. I was, couldn't believe this kick. I was like, how unlucky can you get? This is going to be absolutely awful. Uh, obviously, just have to hope for the 3 and 8 to get a touchback. But yeah, I was very, very, very disappointed by that. It was an awful kick. Like the kick that I got against Purple Chest, just right in the corner. Absolute nightmare. You're talking four turns just to get it back up to halfway. But thank God it was a touchback. Able to give it this guy and move him right up from the start. And now the ball will, will be secure in a cage on turn one. There's an argument that I could have done all safe moves first here, but instead I just made blocks like an asshole. Um, again, it is one minute turns, right? So that, that does limit you a bit. Um, and I wanted to see what happened with the blocks as to whether I should block blitz, you know, who I should blitz and what have you. Um, but yeah, I probably should just move moved everyone first but then like I'm moving these into pl places where they after these guys have moved up so but certainly I guess everyone could have just be one square back or 
wanted to see if this was a push or a uh, ball down before deciding whether to cage, where to cage, how to cage. So it ends up all right, actually. Now there is three armor eight on the field, so I've got to be wary of the roger and his mighty blow blitzers. Pathetic LOS, wasn't it? Two pushes and a, <laughs> and a non AV break. So he just picks off this guy. But I mean, that's fine, right? Skillless long beard. Um, I can hang him out to dry. No problem. That was, in fact, his purpose. <laughs> and he amazingly survives the six dice. So that's great now. He's, he's got three players on him. Um. So now, I could have either gone up this way. See, I didn't want to go up this way because then that brings the roger back into it. So I'm trying to push forward down this flank, aren't we? Nice removal. And then I'll push. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I overblocked here a little bit. Um, I guess the thing is, no, that, what I was thinking was, yeah, this is kind of the obvious guy to hit, right? And then try and move forward up here. But I thought this was a defenseless gutter, and that was that was my thinking. I remember now. There's a defenseless gutter hit here, so I don't get too far forward. Protect the uh, AV-8s. So then he's going up just to get in the way of that roger a bit. And fail to knock over a gutter again. <laughs> it's a good job they were failing dodges because I wasn't <laughs> able to punch any down. <laughs> um, he doesn't go for the rogue hit. He goes for the stone vermin hit. Gets the removal. That was disappointing. Um, and again, like saving the apple wouldn't have done me any good there because he's out for the drive anyway. So I was really happy about my turn one apple. Now... And yeah, this guy doesn't really get in the way, does he? The, the roger has enough movement to get around here and hit twice without having a GFI. It was, however, a beautiful non-AV break. So now there's, there should be a way to get up like in the middle here, shouldn't there? Get the pal. Obviously pushes is pretty terrible on the ogre, so I'm going to go for the troll slayer hit rather than the uh, mighty blow hit. Get the pal. That's a great stun. Yeah, so I probably should have like caged here. Move the ball to here. Uh, it's not much better, is actually, but yeah, I think I could have been one square over. Maybe even been in contact with him, because what's he going to do? Will kill me. Maybe I could have been. The ball could have been where he is and put guard. Facing a couple of gutters to try and, you know, <laughs> do something. But of course it means these guys are likely going to get knocked down, which isn't great. But at least it's like taking a bunch of players to do that. But the thing is, next turn get to run away from this roger and make a push up. Probably should have gone to the centre here. I think I might have gone up down the side, but I think I should have hit this gutter, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm hitting this gutter, the defenceless gutter, and then pushing down this side. Okay. Actually, I think it's probably better to hit this gutter and go more central, but never mind. This is probably where I got into trouble a bit. Going that way, trying to push. Because I'm not getting... I could have got more away from the ogre as well, couldn't I? Going up there. 
And as it is, unfortunately, I'm not really getting very far away from the rattle grid at all. It's a burst cage and it's a bit sloppy and a bit rubbish. But still, there's a, there's a fair amount of basing. And yes, I would have liked the Longbeard really to be eating these punches from the Roger, but instead it's going to be the Slayer. He's stunned because of his armor rate and um, getting the AV break, so yeah, that was disappointing. This this uphill was very rowdy. <laughs> I think that was a I think that was a big mistake from Kano. Um, so power this guy. Maybe I should have just hit this gutter right and then pushed through there. But instead, I was thinking I wanted to hit this one because he's wrestle and he's like the big sacking threat. But it meant that I had to hit him without tackle. And it meant that I didn't want to take the ball down against him either, so that was a bit that was a bit rubbish. And it's just all got, it's all gone a bit wrong this drive. To say that I started with a touchback. Um I don't know how much of it is me playing badly or can all playing well. This is definitely me playing badly this turn because I ran out of time and didn't get to stand this guy up and GFI him into there, which is what I wanted to do. But I just ran out of time. Um it, it, it was hard, like this was really hard. I was really struggling at this point. Um, can all rerolls that dub skulls? I'm not sure that was worth it, but you know, if he if he if he can get the stop here, he just wins, doesn't he? So I guess it was pretty critical for his defense. Sure about this blitz here, just a 1D blitz on the edge, and it's a skull. And now, surely, surely something good can happen. <laughs> surely. Looking at it now, I wonder if I could have uh, stood this guy in here, blitzed him, and then just hit gutters, but instead I'd try to hit this gutter and go down the side. Um, well, like push down the side a little bit. Which is safer. Uh, relying on this GFI from the uh, Troll Slayer there. To secure... To secure the rear! <laughs> Obviously reroll would have gone in there. But it's just about okay. He could have maybe gone for an uphill wrestle here. Um, You know, he used his blitz for an uphill wrestle. I mean, maybe not, because it doesn't look that bad for him, but I don't know. He can't really use his last reroll, that's the problem. And he fails this dodge and doesn't reroll it. So now, this should be easy, right? This should be easy. <laughs> um, the problem is it's a minute, right? It's a minute. And after after running out of time with this guy, I thought the first thing I'm going to do is move my ball carrier up. But what I probably should have done was hit this guy, chain the wrestler forward, then I could have punched this guard away, and then I could have pushed him on the sideline, and then I could have surfed that wrestler. That that seems like a pretty good play to surf this wrestler. But instead, I was thinking, I'll I'll punch him and then like surf this storm vermin because that's obviously the kind of easier way to do it is to surf the storm vermin, and then this way I get to tackle the uh, wrestler down anyway. Um, so I went with kind of. In a way, the safer way, but also not really, right? Also not that safe. Because that 2D didn't knock him down. So now he's got a wrestler there that can just 2 plus away. And now because I'm hitting this guy this way, now I'm away from this, so now there's no tackle on these two. And, <laughs> and now all of a sudden this is just, uh, this is pretty hideous. Pretty hideous. 
I was hoping to power him, then I could have blitzed him. Um, so in comes the reroll, because now I've got to try and do something, right? Because this is just awful, I'm just giving him one dice on the ball easily here. Um, and like, if I'd powered him, that would have been great, obviously. Then it would have been one, two, three, four, five, and then I could have made it a lot harder with a pow. Uh, I didn't get the pow. And now, all of a sudden, like, this is an easy one dice with Wrestle, or two dice if he, if he rolls more. So, yeah, really bad. And obviously, I could have just moved this guy later and moved him to here, and it would have been totally safe. But just because I, like, wanted to move forward six first thing, you know, I thought, like, let's get it safe. And it wasn't safe. And also, it wasn't even here, which would have been the stall square, wouldn't it? So that now that the ball could go in the crowd here. Um, but, yeah, he makes it the 2D with Wrestle. And doesn't push to here. Like, I thought he would have pushed to here. I can't believe he, he pushed back. Because by pushing to here, then there's more chance of him having tackles under the ball, isn't there? And then, as it was, I mean, I got really lucky with the uh, with the catch. But, I mean, that was so bad for me. It was just, it was just like, kind of saving his first that made the whole thing a lot worse. Now, this is a real good square. From, and then he moved to the wrong square. <laughs> because now it's that stopped me doing GFI. Um... Unless... Uh, he, oh, he's going to go in there. So if, if this guy just stood like there, and he'd there, then we'd be all been screened off. And, uh, I guess it'd just been a 3+, plus anyways. But as it is, it's a 2+. plus. So yeah, 3D him. And got a GFI to make it 1-1. One, one. So yeah, I definitely, definitely messed up towards the end there. But you know, what can you do, right? It's a minute turns, Kanor did play well. Um, I think getting in the way and stuff, and maybe I lost a bit, but I felt like it was tough. Um, felt like a tough drive, that one. Alright, so now Kanor has the chance of one turner. I had saved setups, uh, including the the standard NAF, how to stop a one turner defense. Now, unfortunately, he's got frenzy, so he could have used he could have used frenzy to uh, to blitz this guy and uh, make it a bit easier for him or whatever. So, you know, many ways he could have he could have used the frenzy differently. Also, you can use the whole method here, but with a guard behind him, it's not that easy to uh, to get the three dice on the uh, hits. So I thought at least if he's, you know, using a loner to blitz, then that's alright, isn't it? He does get the pushes on the first one. He gets a power on the second one, so yeah. He was five, six, seven, eight. So if he'd had a, if he'd had another player here, then um like this guy isn't actually doing anything, is he? So this guy could have been stood there and he could have had three dice. Uh, which might have got him. Might have got him the uh, push that he needed. But it wasn't an easy one turn. Like, it's not the hardest thing in the world ever against this, but at, le at least it causes them some problems. <laughs> and obviously it caused enough problems that the one turn didn't happen, so... Happy days. So here's the huge kickoff. Kickoff? The huge coin toss. To usually decide who wins. And it's Kanor. So yeah, very rough. Uh, so in the first half I went for the rule of five. Just as like a kind of, you know... Um, to stop the Roger being a terror on the sidelines, basically. This time, obviously, I've got to, f got to cover the flanks. I'd hit gutters so many times and done absolutely nothing to them. So he's still got his all three gutters. <laughs> he's got... 10 players, in fact. I haven't made a single cast since turn 2. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, this is... Uh, oh, well, there's a there's a perfect defence. And I definitely made a mistake here. I, I spent too much energy on trying to cover the ogre here. I should have definitely had two, both, both runners back, like here. I should have had both runners back. And... Uh, because, you know, even though the gutters are this far away, like, they're so far behind the line, but they can still just run nine, can't they? Like, it's crazy. I just looked at them and thought, oh, they're miles away. Like, he hasn't really set up for the quick score at all, has he? 
and I put these three so that he would he would you know struggle to hit with the ogre, but really, that was kind of stupid, um, because my safeties are too too high up the pitch here, way too high up the pitch, and uh, yeah, Kanor is is going to exploit that. Blitzes, tags, and now all of a sudden, um, you know, <laughs> he's got a gutter and got easy scoring range. The other gutter's got it, and is oh, okay. He's not coming up there. Would have been screened off. He's gonna rely on a pass, but that's okay. He's got a reroll. Yeah, now it's looking very bad. Now I can free up this guy to hit the gutter, but I definitely messed up and this wasn't good. <laughs> I'm going to have to rely on Dauntless here to get a 2D. Luckily get it. And luckily get the power as well, so that was nice. Luna comes over for the assist. Smack him down, perfect uh, ball down. And here we go, GFI to hit the unprotected gutter. And only scoring threat. And finally, finally, <laughs> hurt a, a gutter runner. Absolutely wonderful. So now there's only the guy with a ball and, and one downfield threat to worry about. Like, obviously the lineman can score, but it's really only the goodness you've got to care about, isn't it? Cheeky 1D there. Thankfully he blitzed there, right? If if he hadn't blitzed there, he could have blitzed forward with this guy and then gone down the middle here. But he didn't do that. He just got his roger up. Makes a Kaz there. <laughs> Actually being out Kaz now by uh, Skaven, taking two Kaz to the one that I've inflicted. Um, and he rolls a one there. With this wrestle, this wrestle got the rolling another one. Um, you know, which it's good, isn't it? It's good when they roll ones, especially when you can't knock them over to save your life. <laughs> uh, so now I think this this run is going to go back and, and like be a bit of a safety. I think I've realised after this scare of this half that this guy's got to be a safety. Nope, nope, I haven't realised that at all. He's getting in so he can hit and then put tackle on this gutter. I mean, a few stuns, that's alright, isn't it? And obviously, there's, there's, there's been a few kills throughout the halves. But, um. Yeah, so him only having one gutter in him on the floor did give us a bit of breathing room. Especially with this one being deep and kind of not having to worry about him. Again, the centre a bit weak, he could have blitzed up and potatoed through the middle a bit. Rolls another one on this dodge, and he, again he can't he can't re-roll it, and he removes himself. So there you go. That's the best way to remove gutters. Just let them roll ones and remove themselves. <laughs> Easy, really. <laughs> so yeah, thank God, thank God, uh, he removed himself because that was uh, that was brutal. So now this guy can be a safety. Yeah. So now this guy's just going to be a safety and, and then, you know, try and win because now quite a few players up. Just going to try and win with what's what's in the middle against each other here and then, you know, hopefully this guy can just mop up if he has to. Dodge in the middle here. 
Maybe he should have been there. I guess I wanted him further out just because he made him fall, right? And wh while it was great, all these guys in the middle being knocked over, obviously next turn they become annoying again because there's four of them and they can block each other free and stuff. So again, we've got the Roger Blitz. But there's not a lot of protection for this <laughs> this gutter here. And he does a GFI and he rolls a one on it. He's gotta use his last reroll now. And it's a double one! Glorious! Absolutely glorious. Shame that the troll slayer is tied up. There's maybe a way to free him with chains, but you know, never mind. So blitz that guy and put a put a tackler on the uh, on the gutter. Seems good. Make the JFI obviously would have had to re-roll these if they'd failed. And now that's pretty good, isn't it? Now it's looking Now it's looking pretty nice. And then I thought, seeing as he's just gonna block him anyway, I might as well dodge away and then try and get a tackle on another tackle on this guy. Even though it's a five plus dodge, I mean You know, it, it didn't affect the play at all, him being him being on his ass. So yeah, there is a 1D on the ball, and this could all go wrong. Have <laughs> this 1D on the ball. Um, so like, it's, it's, as well as this half has gone, it's still, it's still uh, pretty bad. I think I think Knorr made a mistake here. He did like a sensible move, which was to run around and hit. But the thing is, like, so that the push was better if he if he kept him on here. But I think you just got to roll for the five plus, right? Just go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, and then just just bez down the field, potato, basically. Just just bank on rolling the five plus, because the tail isn't really having that much effect because I've got players free to to blitz him, blitz him anyway. Um. And then this one, this this was a horrible turn. I was thinking so much about who I should blitz with and what have you that I literally just ran out of time and had to block because I didn't have time to blitz. Uh, just panicking at the last second. So this was this was super horrible. It was a real bad turn for me there. That was... Like, even with so few players, you know, that the Roger is, is strength five and he's moved six, so he's pretty hard to deal with. The gut has a move nine and edge four, and it, it's really not easy to uh, to deal with, you know, scaven in minute turns. It really isn't. But look at these outer rerolls now, so there's a chance that he just opens himself up. This time he didn't base the ball, which is fair enough, because like, I guess you, yeah, he could have based there, I guess. But it, it wasn't easy to base the ball safely at all, was it? So it lets us shuffle up the field a little bit blitz him and come around love to see it and I kind of need this block because I can't afford him to just hit me and then have him run away and then I couldn't afford the one in nine either so I had to re-roll that. But obviously at this point I think I can win in normal time so I don't really care too much about the Kekwoody. And then this guy can run in to make it two into two because obviously the guard was causing problems. So this is all of a sudden, this is looking really nice now. Um, he blitzes with a rogue to base the ball, I guess. Oh, 
pretty irrelevant surf, but the important thing is it frees up the rocket, doesn't it, to, uh, to hit, but I mean, it's pretty easy for me to free up people to blitz him away, isn't it? And this gutter should have probably done something. Uh, just standing him here is not really doing anything, is it? He could have come in like here or something. Here. This would have been a good square, wouldn't it? To stop assists. Um, but even just just closer. Um, instead of just so far away. Like, I get that he's, he can score here, but... I think he's got to be more worried about me scoring than if he gets the ball and can score himself. So this moves up so that it's a safe 2-2, two two, even with Dormus fails. Now I can move forward safely. We just need to deal with this guy. One. Yeah, this one as well. Get the stun so he's completely dealt with. And then the power on him, so there's only the gutter that can base now. He goes for the base. And he rolls another one. <laughs> um and there, there you go, that was it, what a game. Uh, I mean, thank God he rolled some ones on with his gutter dodges. Like, he rolled quite a lot of failed gutter dodges, but then I hit them so many times and did nothing to them <laughs> that I feel it evened out a little bit in that regard. And obviously, always feels good to win. Win a game where you lose the overtime toss. Uh, you know... Just stopping him scoring would, would have, was was obviously a certain amount of luck in it as well, right? You can't not have luck um, in a game that you win. But I felt like I played pretty well. Did make a bit of a mistake with the offensive drive. Very lucky to not get punished on that uh, on that thing. I also got really lucky with GFI's 22. The funny thing is the two fails though came on the same blitz, right? Which could have just that blitz on the ball could have just won the game uh, crazily. So. So yeah, his dodges was seventy percent, which is low, but he, like some some were three pluses. His GFIs were terrible. Um, so yeah, it was an, it was a very interesting game. I did think Cano played well, in, not just in this game, but in the whole tournament. Right, he was unbeaten in normal time um, throughout the tournament, so very well played to him. And now I'm in the final uh, for a glorious dwarf off. So there you go, rematch of the game versus PC, which I thought was a great match. Um, and so, yeah, probably, you know, it's probably going to be, you know, a big advantage to whoever rolls the best. But, you know, also there could be mistakes and stuff. Like, I think I definitely made that mistake against Kanor in this game where I, where I just, you know, instinctively just moved that guy forward because I kind of panicked at running out of time to turn four, turn before. And if I just played it safer and, you know, done all the blocks first and then got him into the pocket, it would have been fine. Or, you know, tried for the greedy surf. But either, even whatever I'd done, if I'd just done it in the right order, <laughs> that would have helped. But there you go, anyway. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.